What's going on guys? My name is Daniel and welcome to my channel and we are going to be doing some edits in Lightroom Classic today uh, from Daytona week, Mustang week, something a little bit about me. I do love photography and I do it as a side hobby and I would love to find out exactly what my style is. Today we're going to start my journey and kind of learn exactly where I am as a photographer and hopefully help you guys find out where you want to go and kind of go from there. And I'll probably talk through a little bit, but I won't go into much detail why I'm doing it or where I'm doing it. I'll kind of touch base on everything as I go. Let's just hop into it. I want you to see a couple of these photos. If you are interested in looking at this finished product of the photos on a more uh, basic platform, you can go to Instagram. My link is in the description. I want to show you a couple of these. I saw this bike here sitting while we were going to the beach, and I thought it was a really cool bike. This is actually the before, and this is the after. I like this. This is already on Instagram, as well as the inside of the same car. So this is the before. It was a little dark. The wood was a little eh. So I went ahead and brightened up everything and it looked really well. This is actually after I cropped the image as well for Instagram. And that's what I do first. So I make sure I know my composition. All right, so the two photos we're gonna do today is this white and blue Mustang and then this all white Mustang. I really like this close up shot. It looks really good as well as this shot here. So what we're gonna do is we've already cropped it to Instagram. It's a four by five ratio, which is the biggest you can do for Instagram on your uh, timeline. It looks the best. And we'll go ahead and uh, we're gonna just start editing as we go. So right off the bat, you can tell, my, not the background, but the fronts here, you got your, you got some blues and stuff in the concrete, as well as you got your blue in your car. I'm gonna adjust the temperature to go a little bit warmer. And if it messes with the blue too much, we can always adjust that later on. And the tent, I'm gonna bring up the little magentas a little bit, not too much. All right, and then we're gonna, even though this, the, it's already bright a little bit, we're gonna bring up the exposure just a tad bit, not too much, but we're gonna bring down the highlights to bring some of that detail in the car back. We're gonna darken the background anyway with a radio filter, so it's okay if the background is a little too bright. What we're really focusing on is the subject itself. I'm gonna bring up the shadows a little bit as well to get more details in the grill, and then we're gonna bring we're gonna bring whites up a little bit and blacks down a little bit. We're gonna really crush those blacks quite a bit actually. We want to really have that contrasty. That's why I haven't really adjusted contrast too much, but we can pump a little bit there. Texture and clarity, I always like to add in especially product photos or anything like that. It gives real texture to the car. Uh, Dehaze is a beautiful tool. With cars and subjects that are not with skin tones, I like to bump down the saturation quite a bit and bring up the vibrance and then bring the saturation back just a tad bit up just until I get what I want and how vibrant I want it. All right, next we're gonna mess with the tone curve. Some people do the tone curve first. I do actually both styles and we're gonna bring down here and we're just going to do a basic s curve you don't know what an s curve is there's plenty of youtube videos out there uh to explain it better than i could but um you're just doing a basic s curve you know what i mean making sure the shadows are a little bit there and the you know the brightness is there you kind of do an even even amount we're going to lift the we're going to lift the blacks just a little bit and we're also going to bring back down here okay Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so here we're gonna. Here's here's where we start getting into the colors and stuff like that. I don't like to alter colors of the cars too much, but you see this car right back here in the red. We're gonna bring down the saturation of that redness, and we're also going to bring down the luminance a little bit. We're trying to take away from the cars in the background and kind of work on that. Okay, we're gonna bring. We're actually come back up here. We're gonna bring down the exposure just a little bit. Not too much because they're still the, the colors of the cars look really good and the brightness of the car still looks really good after that. All right, so blues here. We're going to illuminate the blue a little bit as well as a little bit of the aqua. And we're actually going to saturate the blue a little bit to pop that color a little. And we're going to hue. We're going to do the hue. I want to darken the blue just a tad bit, not too much. I don't want to go up to the purples too much and do the same thing with the aquas. I don't know. It gives you kind of more of a darker blue. But if you go too far, you'll see here it turns purple. We don't want that. Next, we're gonna do a radio filter. With Classic Lightroom, it automatically bumps, uh, does the invert. Uh, if you go to CC, uh, it actually will be inside the circle, but when you're doing Classic, it, it goes outside the circle automatically. We're gonna bring down the exposure just a tad bit. And as you see, it brought them lights saying it was really bright around this area. All right, so let's zoom in here. This is really, really sharp. It's a very good photo. I do like the Mustang symbol right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it out a little bit. We're going to bring it down a little bit. We're going to match the grill just a little bit more. And we're going to go ahead and hit this invert. This will make it where it's go. So if you hit O, it'll show you where you're actually at. And I'm going to bring up the exposure just a tad bit. 
take this O off. I'm gonna bring the exposure just a tad bit, bring the highlights up a little bit. I'm gonna keep the contrast going and we're gonna bring up the shadows just a little bit. So this, this brings out, so if you zoom out of the photo, bam, look at that. This is, and I always like to check before and after while I'm doing the photo, it doesn't really matter, but boom. There's the before, here's the after. It really changes a lot. You got that Mustang symbol brightened up, good to go. And honestly, the photo actually is looking really good right now. But what I wanna do is, is I'm gonna get rid of some of the spots here. All right, as you can see, we cleaned it up quite a bit. There is still more we can do, but we're gonna go ahead and start the great gradual filters and stuff like that. We're gonna bring down the exposure on the sides here. And the cool thing about this, right, so you can do this and then you hit the brush. And then you can scroll all the way down and you can hit the erase button here. If you hit O, you see where it's at and we can erase whatever affecting whatever's affecting the car. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, I think the car looks really good right now, but what we're going to do is I'm gonna play around for a second and I'm gonna see if I can get these to look really, really cool. Hit the O, hit the Enter, take out the radial. Look at that. That looks really good. I honestly, if we look back, this photo, this photo is already pretty good, but bam, we really popped out the headlights. We popped out the car. I do like this edit a lot. And I think we don't need to really make too many adjustments here, honestly. I mean, tell me what you guys think in the comments. We could probably do better, but I'm still learning. So that's always a good thing too. All right, let's pop on to one more. And just, just so you know, just like the uh, color, we can actually pick where we're adjusting and what we're adjusting. See here, there's the highlights and stuff like that. So that's really cool. That's a really cool tool. I'm thinking we like, I like the warmth. I like the warmth a little bit. So we're gonna bring that up a little bit and we're gonna bring some of magenta into it. Okay, the this side here, but remember we're exposing for the whole, we're exposing for the pro, uh, product itself. It's a little bright here and a little dark here, but really, really bright in the background. But remember, we're gonna use that radio filter. So we're gonna brighten up, do a little contrast because it's all white. We're gonna bring down the highlights a little bit. I don't wanna bring it down too much because I really don't like the reflection there of all the people. Shadows, we're gonna bring up just a tad bit to bring the details back in the car. Whites, blacks, crush those blacks, make the tires look really good. And we're gonna do something really cool with the tires. Texture, gonna bring those up a little bit, clarity a little. Again, we're gonna bring on saturation. We're gonna bring up vibrance. And we're just gonna bring the saturation back up. Cool. Try to minimize that. We don't have a lot of colors in this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring the saturation of the greens down and the yellows. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring the luminance down as well. And that's gonna bring the trees down a little bit too when I start making my little edits. Um, everything else looks good. It's a white car with black, so there's not a lot going on there. Uh, we're gonna go, our tone curve's already done. All right, and we could do a little color grading too if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna do all that. Uh, we might do that in another video, a little bit more color grading. And now we're gonna mess with the radio filters. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cover the car the majority of the car. You're not gonna be able to get all, the whole car in this, but the majority of the car, we can always erase with the brush. And we're gonna bring the exposure down just a tad bit. We're not gonna do a ton. Look at that, boom. All right, it looks good. We can always do a radial or a great uh, gradient filter. Oop, I thought I hit it. We can always do a gradial filter and we can bump that exposure down a little bit for there. We can do a little bit more back there, but what right now we're just focusing on the car. We're trying to get the car all situated. Um, we can actually bring that down a little. There we go. All right, cool. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on here. Look here, we got the headlight. We're gonna do what we did with the headlight before. You can use the brush tool to just color in the headlight, but I found this to be a little bit more uh, quick. I'm gonna just bring up the highlight just a tad bit or the ex exposure a little bit, and then we're gonna bring up the highlights a bit. And we're gonna actually open the shadows up a little bit too. And then we're going to do the brush part right and we're gonna hit the erase we're gonna hit O so we can see and we just want to take out what's what's not in the actual headlight itself beautiful bam hit O just to make sure it's not there anymore all right cool our our front light looks good we're gonna actually do the same thing to this here and that looks good without having to make the adjustments with the brush all right 
We're gonna do the same thing we did with the headlights, but with the tires. We're gonna bring that in a little bit, and we're gonna try to match the tire pretty good. And we're going to actually cr bring, uh, bring up the brightness. I always forget to hit that invert. We're gonna bring up the exposure just a little bit. We're gonna bring up the highlights a little bit, and we're gonna bring down the shadow. We're gonna bring up the shadows a little bit. Here's the cool thing. We're gonna actually bring down the blacks quite a bit. We're just trying to give a little bit of love to that tire there. And what we're going to do when we're done, we're gonna have a little texture to the tire. We're gonna duplicate this. This looks terrible like that, but we're gonna give the same, same exact effect to the back tire as well. And we'll widen this up because you can see the back tire front a little bit too. And then we're going to do the whole brush Take the radio little points out. We're already looking good, but I really, I wanna brighten this front up a little bit more. So we're gonna do that, and we're going to bring up the exposure just a tad bit. Take the O out, and bring the exposure up just a tad bit, not too much, okay? We're gonna bring up the exposure, and we're also going to bring out, we're gonna bring that down a little bit. We're gonna bring up the exposure, we're gonna bring up the shadows, just to get the car just a little brighter. All right, so let's see what that looks like before and after, before, after. Okay, and then we can actually take the exposure of the whole photo down a little bit now. And we're gonna clean up some of these spots real quick, so hold on one second. Perfect. This is the photo, again, before, after, all right, guys, that's the uh, finished product. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Let me know if you like it. Um, I am doing this as a new thing for me. Uh, I really enjoy editing. Um, I'm not there yet, I don't think, but there is a lot of different styles out there. And it's just, there's a lot of things I do want to learn and kind of use to just kind of help myself get better at editing. Uh, I have a lot of compliments already, but I still, I mean, I think this looks great, but I still could use a lot of work and a lot of skill. If you guys have any pointers out there, leave them in the comments below. I really would enjoy all the positive and negative feedback so I can learn and grow and be better as an editor as well as a photographer in general. Again, guys, thank you. If you like this content, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.